We're Journeys of Jason Ed, and a year and a half ago we started our lengthy process of converting this feed to cattle to our dream home on wheels. And we still have an unfinished bathroom, a partially done kitchen and lots of little bits that need to be completed. Please like, comment and subscribe to our videos to help us grow our channel to more like-minded people just like yourself. Hi everyone, so it's been a while since we've done anything on the van, but winter, coldness, and everything else. So if you've been following along since the start, you know that we started working on the van on in front of our house on the road. We then we then purchased a bit of land on the side of our house to store the van, so we were working on there. And over the winter, we got some work done on it, got it fenced in and nice gravel, so now it is a lot nicer place to work. We'll actually have somewhere here to cut some wood. So last weekend, uh, I spent a bit of time sorting out the pump, basically fitting it the correct way and then checking it and the hot water now all works really well. Warms up pretty quick and easy. I need to finish off plumbing it nicely, but I'm leaving this here because I need to take this pipe, split this pipe off and go into the shower. Another thing I need to sort out today is where the air comes out. It was originally just going into the main cab, but we wanted to be able to go into the bathroom if we want. So I've got a little wire with a little flapper thing on it but uh, there is no space, so I need to compress and move things. So I wasn't really too sure what I could be doing today. Ed sometimes likes a little assistant, but the the room there is just, just not enough. So since we talked again and again about adding trim and painting the drawers. To cut and fit these little bits. To cut trims for drawers. Trim off. Need the trim round. I'm going to start by taking the drawers out. I'm currently trying to sort out splitting the heat so we can have hotness, hotness, hotness in the uh, bathroom, in the shower. May need to dry clothes and things. But that's sort of where I want to be and that, that's who I am. So there's not much space here. So I need to try and make everything as small as I can. So I just bought this off eBay. So I'm now going to go and chop it up. That's better. But I still need to try and move heat exchanger back. So if you look through here, if you look through here, yeah. Okay, see those runners there? Uh-huh. These are screwed in from the inside. Yeah, like the that. runner is, but not to the drawer. Yeah, so you take the drawer out with the runner attached. Oh yes, yes, we did do that, didn't we? Yeah, but it's, do you know how long it took us to fit all of these runners exactly? I feel like longer to do them ones. This but, took us a long time. Yeah, it did. But, and it, they, these work really well, yeah, and I don't yeah. want to f that up. Better get round the back doors then. Yeah. Oh. You as much as you can. I'm doing that now. Absolutely. Oh. Excuse me. What? <laughs> out and I'm gonna start sanding and stuff. Ed has moved, what have you done? I've moved some stuff, chopped some things down but I now need 
a new hole saw. Yeah, so we're gonna make a trip okay. to Screw Fixer and BinQ. Um, we used to have a nice workbench that Ed then jumped on and broke it. Excuse me. Oh my god. I said excuse me. Yeah, you just said, <laughs> don't do that, you can't climb on it. And that's why we ended up cutting all the wood on the floor in, when we we're cutting all the wood for the drawers. So we're gonna get some new sort of workmate workbench things, we can put them in our back garden or out here. That'll be a much better workspace. Yep. on the drawers so obviously you saw cut them put them on glued them and nailed them in and now I'm gonna fill all the gaps in between the little bits and the nails and then we'll actually be ready to paint them whatever <laughs> working on last for little last little bit is sorting out the hot water so I put the pump in the right way um, got some new hot water pipe as well then um, done it so we've got hot water going to the kitchen tap and then this goes along through here and then comes out here and well this is just temporary but we'll eventually go up here and then connect to our lovely shower I was on a slope. Oh, <laughs> we always on a slope. Uh -huh. We've done this whole van pretty much on a bloody slope. And how have we got things level? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to turn on the hot water. You're going to stand here and tell me what and if anything leaks. Oh god. Okay, we've been through this before. What's that? Oh, shut! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn yeah, I know. And I was went, was going through it all of yesterday, and it was leaking. Okay. Good. When no, you hear, it stopped, yeah. So when it keeps going, it starts pissing water out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are dripping slightly from here. Whoa. Oh, shower! Gosh. That'll be good. How quick are we getting through the water? Uh, Pretty slow, aren't we? No, quickly rapid. Yeah, I think we're going to go through that a lot more than you think, though. Oh, that's nice. Well, we can just hold it a little lower. Yeah. But it's not that powerful. 
Nice one. Yeah. The shower is going to go up here somewhere with the controls down here. Um, but obviously we just want them somewhere where I can't knock them that badly. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Look at my wet shoes. So this shower, trying to mount the shower like tap thing, it's pretty, pretty painful and annoying. I originally got this piece that I was going to put on here, but overall it would have stuck out like that much too far, which might not sound like a lot, but in a small space shower, it will be a lot. So come back to just this one. Uh, it's a better connection anyway. So putting this through the shower wall, and then I've just made this little wedge. So basically, nice tight fit wedges in there. So that will then be screwed to the pantry side of the cupboard. And then I can tighten this and squeeze it all together. Hopefully. Okay, let's try and drill. Big hole. Big drill. This whole thing will go through the hole and this piece here will sandwich between the shower tray that I'm making out of wood. <laughs> Sounds very confident though, don't I? This big thing, so this is a shower drain trap thing, so you don't want to just go straight down because into a waste tank so it'll then smell. Basically this goes from the underside of the van. This bit will go over what I need to make, which is the shower tray thing. Where I'm going to make a shower tray is just by um, basically having a bit of, bit of wood around the actual drain and then cutting some battens and bits of plywood and then filling it to make like a nice slope all the way down towards the drain. So, back in the van for doing some more work on the shower floor. So, I've just cut out this square of marine ploy. So, I don't plan to get any water below the floor, but may as well use marine ploy in case. Does this look right? A little notch as well at 12, so it's pretty solid, um, but obviously it's a sudden drop to there. I'm going to cut this bit off and then do a gentle slope down here. So there's one like 
main bit for the, any water you've got to push water into it. I'm really hungry as well. Let's try and get this bit done. I need to cut a little notch in like that on this one. So I've marked this. Now I'm just going to guess where it is. what I thought you were gonna draw. Good morning everyone. Um, so I have a few days off and Ed is at work today. So I'm gonna start actually fully painting the drawers. footage when painting and doing the cutting there's different clothes it's not that I've got changed throughout the day it's just that actually doing this is it's obviously taken so much longer than I initially thought so cutting all the wood took at least half a half a day painting nine drawers on ten different sides for each one took two to three days um, so yeah it takes a long time we just edit it all together and then it just looks more like a flowing process but don't think that we did it in you know one day or two days because if you decide to put drawers in your van kitchen it takes an awfully long time than just shelves and cupboards and now I'm gonna start actually painting them so we're using the same paint that we used on the walls of the van it is a interior wood paint eggshell and Victorian white we didn't want something too white that was gonna be right in your face but it's just a slightly ivory white I suppose um, and it just looks a bit softer. Yes, I should have done the insides first, like the way I primed it, but I think I got myself a bit excited. One coat of paint done. Didn't actually take as long as I expected. I feel like undercoating them definitely took longer, which is a bit odd, but yeah. Get out. me man f all we can do about that f all we can do about that is some of this f it it's all coming off okay it's all f coming off i'm gonna need some help here yeah 